Hello everyone! Welcome to the vlog. Today, I will be sharing with you, with my colleagues and friends in the College of Agriculture, some tips and advice on how you would be able to have a more enjoyable journey in your research and in your thesis preparation. So, relax, sit back, and learn. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, just a matter of a piece of advice in conducting research. So, first, you have to define your purpose. Why you are you going to conduct research? Define uh, your contribution. Your contribution. So it should be your research should be significant in contributing to the entire community development. And once your purpose is defined, now you have to develop yourself. In developing yourself, you have to learn the basic methods. Of course, in your 95, you have to listen your mentor, of course, so that you can learn some techniques on how to do it. This, because you cannot perform or you cannot even give it, uh, these things if you do not have. So once you are equipped now, you have developed yourself you can share and in sharing because research i guess uh, i mean research in research you need you can develop technologies and that is our task that is our purpose why we are here in here in the sector so share that one you can only share if you have a good output and the good output in research is also uh, is related to the purpose that you wanted to become or to contribute in the sector. So it's important to share and in sharing, uh, have a quality research, that research that will not stay in the bookshelves, rather you can see that one in the field and that contribute to the improvement of the quality of life of the farming sector. So when we do research, we are actually contributing an answer or a solution to a problem or a phenomenon. So, here are my thoughts for students conducting their researches. First is choose a topic that you love, a topic that really interests you and excites you. Second thing is please read journal articles about books and other related things or thoughts or ideas related to your topic of interest. I suggest you should have a record book. And in this record book, you are going to Write down your thoughts about that article or what are the important meat from that article that you think would help you in writing your research. Third thing is you need to seek counsel and also advices from your professors. And fourth one is always be honest to your work. As always, honesty is the best policy. Fourth one is rest if you're tired, but you need to get back to your work. There will always be hard or difficult times the moment you would do your research. But remember, hard times teach us valuable lessons in life. And surrendering won't speed the process. It might be slow, but little by little, you are progressing. And of course, the fifth one is Find meaning in everything that you do when you, when you conduct your research. So, find wisdom in every step of the process. And also, please enjoy and seize, is, seize each process. Consider it as an adventure. Because when you, grow, when you get old or when you are already in the working arena, you would always remember your, the values that you learned, and all your experiences when you did your research. Lastly, believe that you believe that you can do it, achieve it, and for sure, you will be successful. Again, consider each process as an adventure and not as a burden. So what advice can I give for those students who will be having their proposals and eventually for the conduct of the study? First, is just look around you. 
you can see problems around you. And then be a critical thinker of finding solutions of that problem. So that is just uh, just like a problem solving of daily life. We just apply it in a scientific way. So so yon, I think that would be uh, that would be good advice. Just just look around, find problems and discover solutions. Uh, try to try to apply it in a scientific way. Hello, good uh, afternoon everyone. According to Dr. Joy, I am the Adlai Queen, uh, but I am a queen without uh, a crown. the crown. <laughs> um, you as uh, major students, now you have to actually uh, select a topic or a problem uh, related to your crop of interest, particularly agronomic crops. Uh, in your third year, it's uh, actually high time for you to um, work, uh, be bookworms. Now you have to read articles of which you could find uh, gaps uh, in uh, a particular agronomic crop. Now you have to work on the gap. Now the, uh, the, the problem will start there. So while you are still in the third year, you already have to gather information about uh, the crop, now the advances that you're going to input or impose on that certain crop so that when you will be in the fourth year, you already have the totality, you have already the focus on what to uh, do in your um, thesis. So uh, you have to work on the details. So uh, I would like to advise again that you have to start with uh, searching for the problem. The first one is that when you conduct your proposal, there should be a hubot. Dapat na hubot, okay? Because this will, uh, or in another way, find some inspiration you know, when you conduct your proposal or when you write your thesis proposal so that it will fill with your inner being um, and it will also help you to accomplish but you will start, okay? And then the second one, this is more on, like, you have to identify your crop of interest. So, this is important para manaro down ang imuhang topic. So, first, you have to identify your crop of interest, your favorite crop. The second one is that you need to know the expertise or uh, the research interest of your advisor para malik nimo ang imuhang gusto or ma-align nimo yung imuhang gusto dito sa gusto sa imuhang advisor. And then, the next one is that you also have to consider the need of the society or specifically the need of the farmer. No, ano siya kinahangyan sa farmer because we are here to help the farmer. No? Of course, we need to help ourselves but uh, generally, we are here to help the farmer. So, with that, na ay mas impact ato ang study. Okay? And then, the last one is that you have to read more. Um, me, dili kay ko ganahan magbasa pero katong nag-tesis ko, nakatoon yun ko magbasa ang daghan. And it is not enough na mabasa ta ang daghan. We need also to organize and synthesize the information that we got from our readings. I observe that many students are hard up in choosing the, the problem to be undertaken in their thesis. So, first, in the conceptualization of the problem, I think it's, it is important for you to work on your crop of interest. But in your crop of interest, know also what are its economic value and also the need for a research activity. And in line with that, you can have uh, another uh, way of uh, thinking or conceptualizing how to come up with your proposal. First, you refer also to other uh, to, to published articles and looking at some uh, studies published, there is, it's, it is good for you to uh, just look on other crops, the problems being studied and 
you can relate it to your craft of interest. So, you can easily come up with a problem to be studied or your title on your research proposal. Then, of course, when you have there now the title, you will be looking at the objectives. Why are you going to study? What are your aim, your goals to address the problem? So, you must think of the objectives of your study. Uh, align with your interest, then, in data gathering, you should be honest and whatever the results, so just retain it. Then, always connect with your advisor, take down notes, whatever the advice uh, from your advisor. For, for those students who are contemplating on conducting their thesis, no, so my advice is, uh, as much as possible, you have your approved thesis proposal so that you will be guided because uh, when you conduct your thesis, you have this as a Bible uh, on what to do. And then, so if possible, but then sometimes always that exemption, but then if possible, you have, you have your uh, approved thesis proposal. Then, if you are going to Actually, then you have to, especially during the conduct na, uh, you need to look at the topography of your area because in the paper there is no that you have to observe or you have to, yeah, to practice is to orient your field layout particular to the region. This is one of the techniques to minimize error in your result. So, in the paper, as I said, there is no gradient, so you have to look at really the topography. So, and then from there, because this is already thesis, so you have to incorporate what you have learned from the different subjects that you have taken from from first year into to up to your fourth years. No? Give emphasis on the gathering of data. Uh, so if you want to have somebody help you, to if you try to recall in your statistics that you want to minimize, or you have to have your local control. No? So for your local control, one of the technique there to minimize your data is to make use of the same instrument that you are going to use and then if you are cannot be able to finish your data collection in a day so you do it by replication if ever you need somebody to help you the same by replication also uh, you, you, you can assign somebody to do it by replication also hi um, my name is Rowana Bohol uh, I graduated last year uh, last year 2019 and Na hire ko as a research assistant dili sa sa CMU under sa supervision of Dr. Raquel Osagnay and so na lang ko duha ka words ni ha kasi niya um first is kugi so sa pagkata sa thesis dapat yun na imong na ang focus nimo is na gyud sa imong thesis dili lang kay mawala wala yung focus dito so dapat yun mukugi gigya ko nasa dapat mga watu na sa thesis ang sa dapat nga you know a prioritize so watu siya ang first and ang second is lahutan so bisig kung saan mo ka na nakalang mga mga materials ready na kasatanan pero Nara ko sa first nga ko ang stage sa pagkandak sa thesis, di imo malahutay. So, para sa ko ah, nga naka-experience ano nga thesis, um, kinahin din mo lahutay, silbi, may sa unsa ka, ang siya maagian mo nga problem sa pagkandak sa thesis, dapat yun, mainit ka nga mahuman din yung thesis. So, uh, don't forget that two words, which is that. Kugi o Thank you.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I am Junri Anthony M. Remolio, one of the faculty members from the Department of Agronomy and Plant Breeding. So, third year students, since it's Friday today, I will give you TGIF advices. So, first, tenacity over timidity. Remember that research cannot be done overnight. So, be not easily pulled apart and be determined to do research. Now, because uh, in research, you will be honed and you will be equipped into what you want to be, especially that you are agriculturists in the making, or let's say, plant liners. G, goal getting over goal setting. Yes, goal setting would always be there, especially in your preparation, but what matters most is that you get the job done. Goal getting. I, be intentional. Do what you love, love what you do, and most of all, do beyond what is required. I believe that your Crop Science 95 professor has allowed you to choose your crops of interest. So I believe that you also have the discretion and freedom to choose the crops you really want to study. And finally, F, be factual. It's good to be practical, but make sure that it is logical and moral. Because in research, we need to be transparent and honest in all our data. Because we are not just doing our research, but these are stepping stones to become problem solvers. So in conclusion, I just want this takeaway message that if the process is right, the product is guaranteed. Hi everybody. I'd like to thank my colleagues and my friends for sharing many valuable words of wisdom for my students in methods of research. And I have additional words of reminders for everyone. First is that enjoy your conversations with your mentors. Your thesis advisors, by the way, are your research mentors. You just don't go to them just to seek advice. They don't just dispense advice. They are there to mentor you. So whenever you have time to visit them, you actually make time to visit them and ask and you would learn more. Clarify so that you would make less mistakes. And basically, it's a privileged discussion and a one-to-one -one mentoring in order for you to learn more about research. Yeah. Just enjoy your research journey. It's a test of character, just like what I always tell my students. And so, prove that you have character. Because it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be really a learning experience.